22nd, 9.51 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Um, Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? And she is far more successful than you've been, Maya. <laughs> um, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. Do you remember who she was raised by? Nah, yeah, true. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time, all by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah, being in Germany would probably make you grown up pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. That too. And then you look at me, and well... I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. Emphasis not I'm little. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Okay. And? This is like the fifth time you've been yelled at about something, I'm sure. Yep. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Now, if only I could put this, these words in my head into, you know, verbal words for her. Yep. But now, I'm gonna do that. Good morning! Did you use a train this time, Pearls? The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Damn shippers. <laughs> hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Why are you here, Pearls? Hey, uh, Pearls? Uh, yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. Pearly, not this again. Although Maya's aware of Pearl's shipping habits. <laughs> yeah. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright. I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, then. I'll leave you to, uh, to your alone time. Oh my god. <sighs> that shipping face is just... <laughs> <sighs> Thank goodness. Nick? This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. Uh, what do you mean? What's going on? Well, you see... I'm going to blame other people for murder like I normally do. <laughs> it's going to be great. Yep. Yep. And it's going to be her mother. Oh boy. It's going to be two people this time. I got to up that. Yep. 10 a.m. District Court. Court room number two. Blah, blah, blah. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fay. The defense is ready. Your honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright. I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. Why do you care about what? revenge so much? Your father lied and cheated his way to the top. The hell? Why are you yeah. mad at me? All over the world, huh? Sounds like you make quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. You know, I think there's two reasons. Out of law that they wanted her to channel Mia. Number one, what? they just, they couldn't fit Pearl low enough. <laughs> she's eight. And secondly, it's fan service. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, that's a, that, there's a lot, good bit of track of land there. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool, wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. First time for everything. Yep. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh, oh, that's uh -huh. you. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. <laughs> Glad to see you in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. Uh... It's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. 
Cat fight! Yeah. <laughs> now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's procession. Oh, well, session. Procession? What is this, a band? <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry, I, I was watching a tour uh, thing last night. <laughs> That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes, sir. And this key is proof of that. This key, and the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Alright, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest. The defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? But, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I am saying is that Maya Fey, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fey, to the stand. Just as I suspected. Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems really torn by this. Can't wait to tear her aunt to pieces. Oh, yeah. Still drinking that herbal tea. Witness, a name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium, in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean, in a manner of speaking? Oh! I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya, then. Sp spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is... Yes, that is... Oh! You, uh, be quiet! Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. And why wouldn't this be brought up, you know, before? Yeah, that's a good freaking question. What? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fey, while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Order, order, order! Miss Fey, please testify to this court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante in this trial. Wait a second. Where are they saying hmm? she went? Hmm. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck, and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Okay. Why have you hidden this until now? I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. Bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. 
However, I must correct fa falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix, right? Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. He hates my guts. Well, we know. Alright, so where's the shippers in the chat that ship Phoenix and Von Karma are here? We know they exist. Francisca? <laughs> oh, I, I suspect. I suspect that's a lot of shipping for Francisca and Phoenix, right? Suspect. <laughs> There's shipping for Phoenix and everyone, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Mr. Wrights, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is very smart and a sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Well, let's see what we can find. Alright, so... Let's stop. Just now, you said those two. Who are those two people? Who are the two people you were referring to? God, you know not who. this shit again. I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Uh, Lada's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Yeah, she's just from the South. <laughs> uh, no, the South is very foreign. I assure you of that. <laughs> oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English. Not to mention she looked awful. Oh god! I can already see people in the hotland gearing up for a riot. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> in any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. Might be being paid for this. Hmm, what did you do after that, Miss Faye? Mr. Wright and the other lady, please contact the police. Was it really necessary to have two people do something as sim so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes, that is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another... Another what, madame? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. Uh, I want to hear the end of that sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Alex, there was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you chase us out of that room? For your safety, of course. Yep. I sent enough wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and a camera woman was maybe in danger. It's what I thought to myself. I mean, that is logical. Eh, yeah, I suppose it is. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. Why is no one married? Yeah, that's a good question. They're all Miss. There's like three Misses in this entire game. <laughs> Nobody's married in this universe. The demographic <laughs> crisis has really occurred. Ugh, this is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she called us napping. That's my own for you. I am tired. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. This was hanging from her hand and she was in a daze. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head, and this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The, sta the statement I gave you was a lie. But why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this. However, the witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya. Uh-huh. Right. So you were covering for the defendant. Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed what had occurred. What? Uh-huh. No. That makes no sense. That the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Was it something unexpected? What, pray tell, did she... Oh! 
This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always there. Yes, very well. Ugh, why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Boy, suddenly she thrust me away from herself and escaped from the room. Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit to such a thing. However, yes. Okay, I'll be honest. Morgan is probably in her... I would assume early 40s. If not a little older. Like, she's in her 40s, she's I would also, assume. She is also a spirit medium, so she's probably not that much, you know, in shape. But, on the flip side, Pearl ran two hours that by train, mind you. She ran! That's that true. And didn't seem to be dying of exhaustion. That is true. But also, I think Morgan is addicted to tea. <laughs> but, at the same time, no matter what, if we're going to believe the story... The channeled body was a, from what we can tell, 20s. a relatively in-shape 20-year-old. Yeah. So unless Morgan's been training, physically, it is understandable that a 20-year-old could get the better of her. Oh yeah, I can totally see that. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. But she was channeling Phoenix. Yeah. Anyways, everyone is physically larger and stronger than Maya. That's just Maya. Yeah. There is no yeah, way she Maya. could have escaped from you so easily. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the victim was not physically Maya Fey. She was also not mentally Maya Fey. Get it right, Von Karma. <laughs> Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. I do not. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse that she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However, she fell unconscious. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. Did she lose the chop thing <laughs> to knock people out that you see in movies all the time? <laughs> <laughs> You fainted. I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I, I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps? Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy witness? Elaborate on that point for us. No knowledge where she went. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? Well, we need more information, so question further? Yeah, there's, there's not a lot here. So while you're unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that obvi that's obvious, good sir. If that's true, then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that, now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. It's true that the witness, uh, that the witness is not able to confirm this. Here's my question. Why would she return? That is indeed another good question. But the key was here is this witness. What do you mean? Heard. What do you mean by that? I need to let them finish. It means she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what. Any? Oh. She's gonna use any, yeah. Looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. That's enough! From what I can tell, there's nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. Hmm. I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask. Where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes, sir. 
That is exciting what we should- Oh! Ish. Be quiet, you! Nelson, what the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She... she went to speak with someone? Uh, who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Inimi Miney, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Inimi Miney? I think you can see where this is headed. Yeah, the nurse went to talk to her living sister. Yeah, okay. But that's a problem. Yeah. 